An increasing number of providers have been participating in the federal 340B drug pricing program. The trend is expected to have a positive effect for consumers buying medications. Our Alex Simone has more. The program is intended for customers who can't afford medication, like those without insurance. Kayla McLean, a registered pharmacist at Stevenson Family Pharmacy, says it can be extra important when it comes to name brand drugs. I think that's a good thing. I think that'll help, like I said, the people who can't afford certain medications. Um, I think that's going to be a good way for them to still obtain those medications at an affordable cost. The program significantly can reduce the cost that customers pay for certain drugs. According to the Commonwealth Foundation, that's anywhere from 25 to 50 percent below their regular price. Pharmacies contract with hospitals or clinics individually, so the details differ by community or even by pharmacy. Pharmacist Rex Robinson of Rogers Pharmacy says the difference in contracts also means different drugs might qualify for 340B pricing. And there are certain drugs that have been covered, and then all of a sudden they're not. And then there's a lull period, so we have to try to find substitutes that are covered. The program has drawn scrutiny from some, and according to the Commonwealth Foundation, that includes concern from drug companies over the rate of provider sites expanding and skepticism over the level of oversight. Robinson says that despite the program's value, the likelihood of it ending in the future should be considered a real possibility. All good things could come to an end. I hope it doesn't, but... Um, I've been around a long time and nothing lasts forever, but uh, we hope to make it stronger and more accessible and that's... The number of provider sites in the U.S. jumped from 8,100 in 2000 to 50,000 in 2020. According to the Health Resources and Services Administration, the increased utilization led to almost 45 billion in covered outpatient drugs that were purchased in 2021. For News Press Now, I'm Alex Simo.